Hello and welcome back to Ag Dealer TV. I'm your host again this week, Scott Gardner. Well, I'm just going to use my scan tool here to take a look at a check engine code that's showed up on my dashboard. One of the great things about computers in our modern vehicles and equipment is they enable them to do some really great things. The trouble is, they're a pain in the neck a lot of times. This trouble code keeps popping up here on my Jeep, and it's just a minor EVAP leak. Essentially, it would take me a week, a month of Sundays to find that leak and fix it, and it really doesn't affect anything mechanically about how this Jeep operates. But it keeps showing up. And if you've got a heavy truck or big diesel farm equipment, you've probably experienced most of your breakdowns related to sensor failures. Some of them will derate the engine so you're down, you can't do work until somebody shows up with the correct one of these to diagnose the problem and fix it. But otherwise, there's really nothing wrong with your machine. Things aren't going to change though. This is the reality of modern equipment and we're going to have to live with it for a long time. And in the last few weeks, the big three ag equipment manufacturers have had news to talk about how they're even getting even more into computers. So take a look at what the big three had to say about computers in the last little while, while I see if it is my EVAP leak again. Have a look. As you may have guessed, most of the news around new computers from the big three brands was related to moving ever closer to autonomous machine operation. Agco had something to say that hits close to home for those of us on the prairie. It announced it had purchased Winnipeg-based JCA Industries. You can be forgiven if you've never heard of that company, but Agco says it's a leader in the development of autonomous software for agricultural machines, implement controls, and electronic systems component. The company specializes in the design of electronic systems and software development to automate and control agricultural equipment. Its products are already used by original equipment manufacturers, and Agco's CEO has said this acquisition will, and I quote, accelerate Agco's delivery of machine automation and autonomous systems that improve farmer productivity, end quote. Over at the Green brand, that's John Deere, of course, the company announced it has entered into a joint venture with a California tech company specializing in the advancement of autonomous systems, Gus Automation. Gus's name, spelled G-U-S-S, -S, is an acronym that stands for Global Unmanned Spray Systems. That company is involved in the production of semi-autonomous orchard and vineyard sprayer systems. Multiple gust sprayers can be remotely supervised by a single operator. The machines can control application rates and sprayer speeds across entire fields and in variable terrain with adjustable software parameters. Deere says through this joint venture it will help Gus with, the, with its sales network and in turn Gus will continue its innovation and product development. Does that mean we will see these machines wearing John Deere green and available through Deere dealers? Those exact details aren't quite clear at the moment, but it does seem probable. C&H Industrial, the parent company of Case IH and, and New Holland, as well as Raven Technologies, announced in March it's opening a new advanced engineering center near Scottsdale, Arizona. That will house efforts to advance its precision agriculture systems. The company says it hopes to attract new engineering talent to the facility and expects the center will, quote, accelerate progress in the digital, automation, and autonomous spaces." End quote. There's that reference to autonomy again. Also, CNH revealed it is using computer simulation technology in a new way to speed up testing of new machine designs. No more will equipment have to actually be suggested to the kind of rigorous, difficult, physical testing to simulate years of use in just a few days or weeks. Its computer simulation technology will do that virtually. That should reduce the time it takes to get new designs from the drawing board to dealership lots. Well, sure enough, that's what it was. Another EVAP leak code, gone, no problems. 
Hopefully you don't have too many problems uh, related to computers in your equipment and trucks and vehicles this spring seeding, seeding season. And hopefully those computers actually pay off and make your equipment efficient and help you turn a profit. Well, that's it for this episode of Ag Dealer TV. Be sure to check back here regularly for news and information on the ag equipment world. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more news and information. Till next time, thanks for watching.